Welcome to Abbas Gallery Channel. Ford has shaped its heavy-duty truck legacy on the brute strength of its Power Stroke Diesel V8S, but the automaker has never made a serious effort to extend that reputation to its best-selling F-150 half-ton pickup. Whether because of disappointing market research, financial and engineering concerns, limited manufacturing capacity, or possibly lingering memories of General Motors' misunderstood diesel 6.2-liter V8 from the early 1980s, it has taken until now for the light-duty F-Series to bask in the Blue Oval's compression ignition glory. After announcing the diesel F-150 last year at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show, Ford certainly took its time filling in the blanks. We speculated that the engine would be a version of the Lion Turbo Diesel 3.0 liter V6 jointly developed with PSA Peugeot Citroen years ago, and currently used in some Land Rover products, and as it turns out, we weren't far off the mark. But the EcoBoost branded version headed for the F-150 has undergone some pretty significant upgrades, thanks to the same Ford engineering team that brought us the 6.7 liter power stroke. To ensure that the engine has the grit to stand up to the abuse of domestic pickup truck owners, Ford began the overhaul at the bottom by fitting the 3.0 liter V6 with a forged crankshaft, like the one found in the 2.7 liter EcoBoost gasoline engine, complemented by purpose-designed main and rod bearings. A variable geometry turbocharger takes care of boost, and common rail direct injection running up to 29,000 psi handles the fuel supply, while dual fuel filters keep the supply clean. Aluminum cylinder heads sit atop a compacted graphite iron block, and a two-stage oil pump keeps the 6.5-quart oil supply circulating with an eye toward efficiency by reducing parasitic loss. Ford is calling for 150,000 mile service intervals on the timing belt, and the 5.4 gallon exhaust after treatment fluid supply should be good for 10,000 miles per fill. Although official numbers haven't been released, Ford said the turbo diesel 3.0 liter weighs approximately 620 pounds, which is about 150 pounds heavier than the aluminum block, twin turbo 3.5 liter Echo Boost. It will be produced in Ford's Dagenham engine plant in the UK alongside the Land Rover engine. Fully fortified, the engine's output is pegged at 250 horsepower and a maximum of 440 lbft of torque arriving at a usable 1750 rpm. Ford's 10-speed automatic transmission, coupled with a diesel-specific differential ratio, is calibrated to make the most of the diesel torque curve. If those numbers look vaguely familiar, it's likely because they are nearly identical to the 254 horses and 443 lbft posted by the Range Rover TD6 diesel, which shares the same basic engine minus the F-150, specific upgrades. It's difficult to talk half-ton diesels without at least a brief glance across the street to the Ram 1500 Echo Diesel. The first such player to arrive in the half-ton segment in many years, it has a turbo 3.0-liter V6 diesel currently rated to pump out 240 horsepower and 420 lbft of torque. One upmanship in the truck game is, well, the game, so you can bet those numbers were tattooed as targets on the brains of Ford engineers at the start of the program. Rated to tow up to 11,400 pounds and to haul a maximum payload of 2020 pounds, the diesel F-150 lands right in the meat of the half-ton segment. The target Ram 1500 Echo Diesel is rated for a maximum of 9,290 pounds of towing and a 1640-pound load. While Ford leapfrogs both metrics, these ratings are in an almost constant state of flux, and you can bet Ram is already working to up the ante. As for sibling rivalry, the diesel F-150S ratings are equal to or better than those of most of the gasoline-fueled F-Series lineup. Only a handful of 3.5-liter EcoBoost-equipped F-150S with specific axle ratios and tow packages are capable of tugging more, 
up to 12,200 pounds. Ford said it has already subjected the 3.0 power stroke to the tortuous Davis Dam test, where it ascended a 13-mile route with a 6% grade in temperatures cresting 100 degrees without any loss of power, so it's seemingly up to most tasks that you'd tackle with a half-ton truck. The other side of the diesel story is fuel economy, and Ford is hoping to hit the 30 mpg mark in the EPA highway cycle. Auto stop or start will be standard, and the 10-speed automatic transmission will do its part to keep the engine in the most efficient part of the power band. A mechanical engine-driven fan with viscous coupling is employed to move lots of air when needed, and the viscous coupling dials down the fan load under more moderate conditions for improved efficiency.